Good day everyone. Welcome back to our video tutorials. So for today's video, we will solve this particular problem in structural engineering and construction that involves the Euler Critical's buckling stress. Okay, so without further ado, let's start to solve this problem. An aluminum tube AB of circular cross section has a pin support at the base and is pin connected at the top to a horizontal beam supporting a load as shown. The inside diameter of the tube is 200 millimeters and the desired, fa desired factor of safety with respect to Euler's, I mean that is Euler's critical buckling stress is 2.0. Okay, so we need, uh, we are required to calculate the uh, thickness in millimeters. Okay, so let's interpret this problem. So we have this aluminum tube this one, uh, which has an inside diameter now. Okay, that will be like this. Ito yung cross-section ng uh, member AB. So, um, as you can see, this is a column. Okay, a column is a vertical member, of course. So, uh, my inside diameter siya na 200 millimeters, this one. Okay, and ang, ang pinapahanap dito is the thickness. Okay. Let's call that T. Of course, my thickness sa kabila. Okay, now, um, let's call this the outside diameter and let's denote that as capital D. Okay, now, ano yung basis natin dito? Diba, um, nag-state yung problem na with respect to Euler's buckling. Okay, so, um, in this kind of problem kasi, um, we might think na ang gagawin natin is um, direction of force is equals to stress times area. So, kunwaring may binigay na FY dito or yield strength, we can do that directly. Which is equals to, we need to calculate the force in member AB and equate natin to stress times area. If may FY tayo. Okay, but take note, um, that uh, failure uh, when we use FY, consider natin yung yielding sa column. But in this case, we are to consider the buckling. So we need to calculate the buckling stress, the critical buckling stress muna. And ito yung ibibase natin or babasihan natin sa calculation sa thickness. Okay, so para hindi kayo medyo malito, let's calculate the Euler's critical buckling stress. And this is given by this formula. F sub C is equal to pi squared E divided by the slenderness ratio KL over R, quantity squared. Okay. Now, take note that K here is a base of the kind of the support no? at end points of the column natin. So in this case, yung column natin is pin to pin support at end points. Yung K natin dito is equivalent to 1.0. Okay, so tatlo lang naman yung um, common K values natin dito. It can be 0.5 um, that is kung fix to fix support natin. Okay, and that and we have 0.7 that is fix at the at the other point and pin at the other point rin. 0.7. Well, in this case, puro siya pin at end point. So, our K value here is 1.0 lang. Okay? So, let's derive this formula. And by the way, no, um, if we will calculate the force in member AB here, we will equate that to FC over FS times area. Kumbaga, force is equal to stress times area lang. Okay, but we will divide the F sub C sa factor of safety. Okay, since may binigay na factor of safety um, with respect to Euler's buckling. Okay, now... Let's substitute um, this formula dito. And i-factor out lang muna natin yung Fs. 1 over Fs. And it will be like this. Take note that the radius of gyration is given by this formula. Square root of the inertia over the area. Okay, as you can see, this square root here can be cancelled out because naka-square dito. Okay, and this area can be cancelled out. And this i um, by ano, i, we will be it will be transferred sa itaas. Okay? And it will yield to this formula. 
pi squared EI over KL squared. Okay, so ito yung kinatawag na crit, uh, Euler's critical buckling load. This one is Euler's critical buckling stress. Okay, so ito na yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung thickness dito. So we need to calculate first the force in member AB. This one. Okay, so ganito yan. Um, let's oh, ano, isolate this member A, B, C dito Okay, and take note Ang gusto nating kunin is yung force and member A, B So we need to calculate the reaction at joint B And that is just by summation of moment about C That should be zero Okay, ito yung magiging reaction And that is, uh, let's call that RB By summation of moment about C That should be zero So that is 700 times 3 minus RB times 2 equate to 0. So as you can see, RB is just equals to the PAB or the force in member AB and that is 1050 kN. Okay? It should be equals because this um, force here will be transferred to this member AB. By action reaction, it will be like this. Okay, klaro lang. Now, by using this formula, okay, check the unknowns dito. Kumbaga. So, we have this PAB. We have the factor of safety. We have this uh, modulus of elasticity E, this one. We have the K. We have the L, which is the length of this column. And ang wala natin dito is yung inertia. Meaning, kukunin natin yung inertia. And sa inertia na yan, dito natin ma-express into the thickness of the um, cross section okay so substitute gamitin natin yung formula this one so PAB is 1050 kN gawin natin siyang newtons okay so that will be uh, 1 over yung FS natin dito is 2.0 so substitute so our E converted to megapascal times 10 raised to 3 then the inertia then KL K is 1.0 and the length natin, gawin natin siyang millimeters. Okay? So, 6,000 millimeters quantity squared. And we can calculate the inertia here as this value. Okay. Now, since we have this inertia, um, i-equate natin ito sa inertia ng uh, cross-section natin in terms of the thickness. Okay? So, it will be like this. The inertia, which is this one, is equals to Ano yung inertia ng circular, hollow circular cross-section? That will be pi over 64, outer diameter raised to 4. So, it will be like this. Express muna natin to outer diameter raised to 4 minus the inner diameter, this one, 200 raised to 4. And we can calculate this um, by using our calculator, of course. Okay? So, hindi na lang natin ito um, i-simplify dito. Okay? So, you can use your calculator naman. Okay? So, our diameter required here is 247.75 millimeters. Okay, so, let's use na lang 250. Okay, para exact-exact siya. Wala naman sigurong gagamit ng ganitong value, no? Uh, mga exact values naman talaga yung gagamitin natin. Okay, using 250 um, outer diameters. So, as you can see in the figure, um, the whole diameter is equal to dalawang thickness plus the inner diameter that is 200 millimeters and in this way we can calculate the thickness that is the required thickness 25 millimeters okay so ayun lang madali lang siya di ba okay so i hope uh, may natutunan kayo dito no in dealing with Euler's critical buckling stress Okay, so I hope you like this video and give this a thumbs up and please um, you can help me by sharing this um, to your colleagues and friends there na nag-aaral, okay? Especially sa board exam. So I hope um, you continue to support this page or channel. Okay, once again, thank you and bye-bye everyone.